Well, I, I want to start with the fact that, as you mentioned multiple times, this was your second Challenge USA season, and you got cut right before the end the previous time. I'm super curious. You know, at least on the surface, a bit more of what you're getting into this time around. Was there anything different in your prep, either like physically or even strategically between your two seasons? I didn't train at all this season. I, I last season, I was right after big brother. I had all this free time. I had a trainer. I was training. I lost a lot Mm. of weight Big brother. So I wanted to gain that back. And I felt like how strong I was um, for my size, obviously this season, right before I started a business, it started really taking off and it took up my entire free time. Um, I did not train. I didn't, I wasn't mentally prepared. I was still checking work emails on the way to the airport. I didn't have that time to be like, okay, I'm doing this. And then men and like physically train. And I definitely saw the difference of like my strength, like physically. So that's so interesting. Well, I'm excited for you to open up a bit more about this thing that really came out of nowhere for us on last night's episode, which is this survivor big brother thing i know that several people had said in confessionals like i'm looking out for big brother but it felt like we got so much secret garden secret garden secret garden until this episode so clarify for me how much were the big brother people truly together in the house i i definitely was very much big brother i feel like like if i any of the girls i would never say tiffany Alyssa, or desi's the exception for me just because she did season one with me so like I think there was a lot of people that were very much big brother and very much, I mean, Survivor was very, very tight. And I think this game is about adapting and every elimination, it's like someone comes back, let's figure out how to not get a vote and how to do this. And you have to like always adapt. And I think Chris coming back and like Survivor can be really sketchy and crazy. uh, The challenge people can be all sketchy and crazy, but as soon as big brother does the exact same thing, it's like, oh my God, they're from big brother. They're, they're sketch balls. They're this. And I think Chris coming in and saying that and stating he's like after Tyler and Monty kind of like started the war of that. And Mm. I think started realizing like, wait a second, there's literally all of them still here and we're losing numbers. Um, So they didn't show like a, we had like a big brother meeting about it. I don't know who really like, I don't know if Josh and Fessy were like that tight about it. Um, But I was at least for like me, Tyler, Monty, Tiff and Alyssa. Interesting. I want to find out more about some of these individual relationships because super surprised again to hear you get eliminated by Cassidy and you're like, well, if anybody could eliminate me, I'm happy it's Cass. She's like my little sister, even though she's older than me. And maybe it's just because we didn't see a lot of the blue dynamics yeah. because y'all were winning so much. But like, talk to me about that because that's an example, right? Of sort of yeah. crossing the party line. Yeah, like Cassidy was my roommate. She slept mm. right next to me. It's me, Tori, Amanda, and Cassidy. Um, so me and Cassidy talked a lot and I feel like she definitely came to me um, just about like adapting in the house or talking game. And like me, her and Alyssa and Michelle were like pretty close and we would have like our own conversations And I was very more towards the secret garden and like having that loyalty. Um, But I had like my little side alliance with Cassidy. And I felt like that was beneficial because it was like, okay, she's not in this, but I have her kind of on the outside of it too. Um, So I think that's why they didn't show it, but it sucked going against her. Like it was nice because it was like my friend can win her first elimination because I know how that feels. Um, and I was like a happy to lose against her, but yeah, they didn't show me and Cassidy much. So when it comes to the secret garden, obviously you were at least from our perspective, the most vocal and the most out front about going after these vets and an attitude really changes for you right after that first deliberation where you're like, oh, they're getting their way. I would imagine that having those MTV people come in certainly threw you for a loop. How much and when did your strategy sort of orient to okay, I don't care how much I put myself out there. Like these people need to know this is not going to be their show. I don't even think it was a strategy. I think I just know my strengths and weaknesses going on this show. Like I, you'll never see me in a confessional or an interview say that I'm this great competitor, that I can beat anyone. Like I, look at my arms. <laughs> like I know I'm not, but what I don't lack is playing the strategic, strategic part because that's just the big brother person in me and speaking my mind and like I feel like a lot of people it's like I didn't get I didn't get a call back because I made the final I'm this big competitor if it was about being the best competitor this would be the Olympics like I know my qualities in reality television 
Um, so I feel like, um, what was the question? <laughs> No, about this idea of you oh, deciding to go yes, after these banks. Yeah. So I, I, the whole secret garden was very much about that. But I think also it's hard when I'm the only one other than Alyssa S that's in the secret garden in the blue team. Mm. And Alyssa S definitely relied on me a lot. She would just do what, like any move I was saying. I was like, let's do this. Let's do that. So she always would just back what I said, but she's not one to stand up and say it first. So I think it's hard because I was like that main voice because I was really the only voice the Secret Garden had at that moment in that team. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just speak well, my mind, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, well, what were things like after that? Because I mean, you tell Tori to her face, like, listen, this isn't always going to be about you. And you were the one from our perspective to really put yeah. in Bananas and Amanda. Were people looking at you a different way, either from a vet's perspective or even a rookie's perspective as to like, okay, damn, she got what she wanted out of that deliberation. I don't know. I, I don't know. I know, like, at least people were like, okay, she's going to back us. Like, I mm. I know, like, Monty and Tyler were worried, and, like, Polly was worried, and it was like, okay, like, she definitely had to put in some work for that because Monty was on the table, like, Lewis would be on the table again. So I think people at least respected it. Um, I do think it made, like, maybe me, Fessy, and Corey a little stronger in that aspect, too um but I don't know what the, the vets probably hated me <laughs> rightfully so but you said in this past episode that ideally you'd like to make the final which you couldn't do last time but with your friends as well let's say you were able to survive last night's elimination was your goal always to get to the end with the secret garden or true to that strategist part of you are you like I love them I can't run a final with them I think the only exception in the secret uh, in, in the secret garden uh, the only really allegiance, like, I will not say their name, is Tiff, Alyssa, and Desi. So Desi can beat me in anything and do it five times before I finish my first time. But I still, like, I just feel like how Desi went out last season, and we had a talk, like, walking in of, like, we owe it to ourselves. Like, we've gone through enough last season that we deserve this. Mm. You know, only three people got the call back, and me and Desi were super, like, she was in the final, I was right there. So I feel like I just had this respect for Desi that I just wouldn't want want to add a reason like add, be the reason or add a part of like a reason to her leaving um so I think I started I think I would have started trying to take shots at Survivor just to dwindle down because there was like five girls and only like four or five make the final so mm. so when it comes to Operation Hat Trick was this something you only became aware of truly last night what was your reaction no matter what when you found out that of all people, Tori's random vote was the one to send you in. Um, obviously, like we all talk, we all hang out. So I found out she was my vote like months after um, we filmed. And I was like, okay, being the strategic person in me, I'm like, that makes sense strategically. I wanted her out strategically. I put in bananas, strategically this. And then to find out if it was just pieces of paper and it was like a random is like, I can't respect it that much. I mean, strategically, did it make sense in their head? Cool. Um, but at the same time, I mean, they got what they wanted because I was a big voice against them. So in a way, it did help them. But I don't I don't really understand the full strategic of all the balls to be. Yeah, in your opinion, the hat was more strategic, I think, than Tori was at that moment. I don't know. It, it just looks like scared. Like, I just feel like, why don't you guys band together and vote this one person to show like you guys are going to go after us or something. I don't know. Last thing I want to ask is we mentioned uh, several relationships or meetings or things that weren't necessarily shown, but if you could pick one thing that you hoped made the edit, either from a strategic perspective, personal perspective, comedic, fun around the house perspective, what would it be? Um, I, I wish they showed me and Alyssa S more because she was like my little sidekick. It was funny because I feel like last season it was me and Angela I felt like the Angela this time around because last season I really confided in Angela. I needed Angela to make it far. Like I looked up to Angela. This time around, I felt like I was the Angela and Alyssa would always come to me. Alyssa would always ask questions. I would, anything I did in that game, Alyssa backed. She was like, mm -hmm. I was like, Chris, okay. She just did it. And she would always come to me about like, she does, she's not very good at lying. So she'd always ask me advice. She always need, like, needed like to hear what I would think and stuff. So I wish they showed that a little more. I talked to TJ these past two seasons. Both times, 
he has said, if there's one person that should go over to the main MTV show, it's Alyssa Lopez. If MTV calls, are you accepting it? Or is this sort of saying, I'll stay within the CBS sphere that I know much better? I don't know. I feel like I'm more for the CBS one. Um, I wouldn't never say never. I mean, that call has happened. Mm. Uh, so maybe if the stars align, but I would have to be really prepared for that one. I mean, I, I showed up just acting like I'm on vacation, didn't train. That one, I would need to go into like a boot camp before. So yeah, get that trainer back on speed dial. <laughs> yeah, I would have to have him full time. <laughs> Alyssa, no matter what network you might be on, I love getting to watch you play the challenge. Like you said, you are making great TV no matter what. And I'm so happy that granted it wasn't as long as the last season, but you made just as, uh, as big of a splash, if not bigger, this time yeah. around. So regardless, it was great getting to talk with you no matter when. And best of luck with you and your business as well. Sounds like a lot of exciting stuff. Yes, thank you so much. Of course, all the best and enjoy your weekend. You too, thank you. Take care, bye-bye.